Okie dokie. Leg day. Woohoo! Leg day. Yes. 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 I'm trying to. I'm trying to do this more often. You see. Because. I hate those beepers, and I hate wearing. Oh, fuck's sake. Why does everyone seem to? Come on, mate. Let's go. I've got shit to do. I've got legs to train. Go on. Oh my god. Now I've got a car behind me as well. Christ. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> Not done a very good job there, have you, mate? You absolute spastic. So I'll take that back. Shouldn't say that word. Thank you, boss. Muppet. Shouldn't say spastic, even though I am a spastic, so I kind of feel like I can call people spastics because I am one. Uh, anyway, moving on. I wish I was one of those people that enjoyed, like, loved legs. I mean, I do like legs. The satisfaction at the end of it, I do like. And I love building legs, because having big legs is, is serious. You need big legs. Having skinny ass legs, you're just like an idiot. Especially if you're reasonably big up top. And also, if you're tall, I'm sorry, you have to have big legs. You have to. Or else you just look so stupid. It makes it so much worse if you're over six foot and you've got skinny legs. Um, but this leg day, oh, it's a bit of a killer. It's, it's not my favorite. The um, This is... Holy hell, this is the quad focus leg day. I don't know why, I just find, I find quads so much more taxing than my hamstring focus. This. It just absolutely destroys me. The, the like close grip, um, close leg, close leg squats, close leg leg press, single leg and then double leg, leg extensions but I've seen a real decent chain I've seen a real decent improvement in my hamstrings I can see like a decent cut like a split between that's what you want as well Sam Sulek always says that as well that's what you want to go for you want to look for that you want to aim for that split between from the side view that split between the quads and the hamstrings that looks that looks good it makes you look like your legs are massive, but it's, it's, it's decent. So, and you need big hamstrings for that. So, yeah, quad focus today. Difficult. I don't know why I find it more taxing. Most people, from what I've seen on Instagram and TikTok, etc., people much prefer to smash ha um, quads than hamstrings. Every person's leg day, I, all I see them doing is absolutely destroying hamstrings. Um, why do I keep doing that? They destroy quads. Not many people focus on hamstrings that much. I mean, they do them. Like, they do lying leg curls or seated leg curls. And I see quite a few people doing RDLs and things like that. But I don't, I, not, not as much as quads. People smash quads more than anything. Things like hack squats and that sort of thing that everyone smashes that's is main, that's that's a quad focus mainly that's i mean it's it's your your glutes obviously your hamstrings are involved your whole legs are involved your your your, your um your calves glutes quads hamstrings absolutely everything is involved there um core back to a certain extent um but they, they focus more on quads and glutes rather than hamstrings. Um, so, yeah, it's, I don't know why, to be honest. I, I think, I mean, your quad, your quad is a bigger, it's a bigger muscle than your hamstring. I always, I kind of think if, you, if your hamstrings are wham, like if you've got serious hamstrings, it's gonna make your whole leg, as or your legs as a whole, look so much bigger. And then also, something that I've only just recently started doing, and I've actually seen a decent little change in this as well, is the, um, which I mentioned in a few of my other videos, the, the, the uh, adductor and abductor machines. Adductor A-double-D, and then the abductor A-B-D. 
um, one's, one's away from the body and one's into the body. The one into the body, I've only just started doing the one away from the body. Haven't really seen, when I do it, I only really feel it in like my TFL, like the, 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 the sides of my glutes, like this. I don't really feel it in the tops of my quads or anything like that, which is kind of what I'm looking for. I've got long quads. When you're tall and you've got and you've got long, or if you've got long legs or long femurs, it's difficult to make the quad look big when they're so long. You need them to be massive to look a decent size. Look absolutely huge. You need width. You need everything. So that's why I'm doing the. Um, the abductors and adductors, but I've seen a decent change in the ad ad in the adductor machine. So coming inwards, in my in definitely, I've got some a much better width. No, no, I never had that before. But I, I never, I used to, I was a bit ignorant to be honest. I, I'd ha I had that sort of view that oh, it's a girl's machine. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's so stupid. I can't believe I thought like that. It's such a stupid little comment. But that's how I felt. But now, after watching... Well, after learning, <laughs> if I'm honest, uh, I'm not quite so ignorant to the fact that you, as a bodybuilder, you want to build every single muscle as big as you possibly can. And what, what, what exercise... Well... I don't know of any other, well, I'm sure there are. Well, there are, definitely, but I don't know of any easy exercises or any compound movements that work those muscles. You, you can't really do that because they're kind of, they're specifics. They're, um, it's like isolating your biceps. It's, it's, it's slightly different. It's not compound. There are no compound movements to, to hit those muscles. I suppose a compound means multiple muscles as well, but you can't, you're isolating when you're doing that. So, yeah, I'm smashing those in with this session. I do them every session now. So I've got to keep that up. I think if you've got, if you've got long legs, long femurs, long quads, you, you, you've got to be working on width more than anything else, which means, which means doing those, those machines. They're, they're bloody important. Um, yeah. So that's that quad focus, three quad exercises, which would be close grip or close leg squats. I went up to 160 for those. Well, close leg squats, raised close leg squats. So that's with a plate under my, or two little 2.5 kg plates under my, um, oh, they've had a crash. Uh, see Daisy, uh, see Daisy, stupid. Oh, she was not, <laughs> she wasn't happy. <laughs> Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Don't distract me, girls. Fuck, I'm doing a video. Uh, uh, what was I saying? Uh, damn it, I've completely forgotten. Oh yeah, so I went up to one six. So yeah, so um, close leg squats. Close leg. I mean, I'm not. My feet aren't touching. I, I don't. I could. I could not do that. It, it physically would not work for my body. I wouldn't be able to do a squat with my feet that close. So they're kind of like, less than, maybe 20 centimeters apart. Um, and then I stand with my heels on two, on two 2.5 plates, kg plates. Um, so it focuses more on your, on your quads. So those, I went up to 160 last time, buckled me, I only got two out because it hurt my back. Or nearly hurt my back, I could feel it, it was about to go. But I'm gonna go up to 160 again, see how that feels. I had the technique a little bit wrong, I was a little bit off balance. So when I was coming up, I was leaning forwards and it wasn't it wasn't comfy. So we'll try and rectify that this week. Uh, so we're gonna do those and then we're going to do some oh, I'm gonna do a road rage clip. I think, because the amount of people that piss me off while I'm driving, it winds me right up. Yep, no worries, mate. Um, a little compilation of all my road rages. Well, it's not road rage. I just get slightly aggravated. Anyway, stop getting distracted, please. The, yeah, close leg, um, 
leg press. I like a leg press. I know lots of people say that's shit, but fuck you, you're wrong. You're stupid. I don't see how it could possibly be bad. It's safer and it's I can feel it more in the muscles that I'm looking to hit. It's it's good. I, that's why I don't really heavy squat now. It's no point. There is zero point as a bodybuilder to do to heavy squat. It's just especially for someone tall, it just buggers my back. Whenever I try whenever I go over 200 kilo, it just it just doesn't it does not feel nice. It's heavy. And I can go up to sort of maybe 230 now. Well, actually, I doubt I'd get that. I'd get 220. I'd get 200 for a few. Normal width, though. Not not close close grip, uh, close leg width, raised foot. No way in hell. I don't think I'd get one. <laughs> um, but yeah, it makes it, it makes, I don't know. I don't really see the point in it. It's a strength-based. That's like three reps. I mean, it's nice to do that sort of stuff with, I do do that with upper body. But when I get injured, what's the point? There is no point. The other ones, they work They work the muscle better. And you're a bodybuilder. You're looking for isolation a lot of the time. Um, so, yeah, right, I'm here. Wish me luck. I'm going to smash quads today. I'm going to come out feeling sick. <laughs> get some gains. Okie dokie. So we did do our uh, close leg yeah, squats. I don't do anything other than this now. There's no point. Um, if you can hear a funny noise, my bath's got a little bit cold. And this is where I do my voiceovers. Deal with it. <laughs> right, so, psych himself up, because I only got two out last time and I proper failed. But, <laughs> I didn't do that much better this time. So here we go, almost an injury here, ready, steady, come on, so, <laughs> I've never done that before in my life, again, balance is off, I keep leaning forwards too much, it's heavy weight though, it's 20 kg on top of the 140, and also the, what's annoying is that I get, I get six out here, which I'm not too upset about to be honest because I do find these difficult and they're slow and controlled I'm not tearing through these look how slow I'm going on the way down that is slow that's not fast at all and they're raised heels it's, it's, it's a lot harder you've got less less stability less strength it's more isolation on the quads it's difficult so I'm reasonably pleased with that didn't hurt my back either so I, altogether I'm seeing that one as a win it did buckle me though <laughs> and so moving on to some leg press I will keep stressing this. If you don't already, use the bands. They are way better. I will never go back now. The bands are the way forward. Um, also, don't poo-poo the fucking the leg press. Leg press is decent. It's good. It's safer. It's more time under tension. It's, it's good. Once you figure out the way to do it, your, your favorite way to do it, it's a little bit awkward for some people. It's bloody great. That's not deep enough. That's not deep enough. It's a little bit better. Bit better. I'm struggling. This is this is like my top set. Most of those are 25 kg plates as well. So I was I was struggling on these ones. After those 160s as well, I was buggered. They, they're, they're difficult, but I kind of feel with the 160s because I'm not getting a huge amount of reps out. I've got to come over here and, and isolate a little bit. Um, so that's that's the main the main uh, focus of these ones, but it's not too bad. And then we're on to some, oh God, I always get confused with this, adductors, a double -D, D. I don't really do the abductors, to be honest. Also, if you can see the drink that I've got there, the Rubicon energy drink, don't buy it. It's horribly sickly. It's the last thing you want to have in the gym. The primes though, they're fucking great. Get the primes. So yeah, I love these. This is a little warm-up set here. Um, I'm pretty pleased with my progression on these because I used to, I mean, to begin with, when I first started doing these, I did start doing full stack, but I was only getting like four or five, possibly six reps out without using my hands as assistance. But now I can get basically four, four sets, full stack, minimum of eight reps. So 
is done pretty well on this one. And they are very good. If you've got long legs, you must do these. Uh, just a little bit of a different angle now. Um, but yeah, these, this is one of the top sets. I've even started putting with my, um, with my gym pin, I've started putting 15 kgs on top of the full stack as well. Oh, blimey, that's not a very attractive um, <laughs> angle. Oh, crikey, I think I might do the angle differently for this one for next time. They, those boxes look incredibly tight. I do apologise, everyone. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to do what all the, all the women seem to do and make you focus on, on the wrong things. Anyway, back to the muscles at hand. Yeah, these are good. Uh, I swear by them. You guys, you've got you to gotta do these. I mean, if you've got short legs, long legs, doesn't matter. You've got to do these. Uh, I think that's the end of the session. Catch you in a bit.